I'm good. I would say um, 10, 15 minutes. Um, this is a very unbelievable chase right now. We're seeing a, um, a very fancy uh, snow uh, mobile um, just basically having nine lives. The um, the vehicle, or at least the snowmobile, has uh, has tipped over, turned around, um, and even flew in, in some moments. It looks like it was, um, it looked pretty much like a, a, um, a flying um, object for a moment. And I um, apologize with these uh, microwave uh, signals kind of breaking up um, at the moment. Um, let's just see where he's going now. Um, we're told that he's going on a snow uh, mobile path in East Copenhagen, and there he goes again. <laughs> tries to fly around, thinking he can fly around here. Um, police um, authorities are kind of just um, not getting involved. Um, they're just, um, for whatever reason. Um, I again apologize for these signals. Um, we think maybe something's, something's wrong with our copter. Um, but anyhow, this, uh, this, this, and here he goes again, going at a uh, very high rate of speed um, in this stretch because he's kind of on the street away. 10 4. Beep. 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 And there we go. There he goes. Uh, he's just. Losing control. And... Let's try to flip around. Um, according to police scanner traffic, he had, um, um, did not respond to authorities. He had, um, fled a scene. Um, they do suspect there's alcohol involved, just given how he has been just handling all these hits and not, um, not stopping. Um, this looks like a very fancy, uh, snowmobile, because you could probably see, um, towards the back of one big engine, which probably would explain why the vehicle is going at a high rate of speed. Um, again, you can see the vehicle going in a um, high rate of speed, um, just slowing down a little bit, and now he's turning around. It looks like he's going to South Copenhagen, if I'm not mistaken, because he's, he's going in a southerly direction. Or westerly direction at this point. He's going against the sun. Um, but yeah, you can see he's on the snowmobile path. And now he's going on some of the roadway, I believe. He's turning around. Or uh, CBR6 can get a better location where he is. I think he's crossing some major road. And he's lucky he doesn't have any traffic on him. So here he goes. He's he's I think on some I don't know how he's going to try to get away from authorities at this point. Um, um, scanner traffic is reporting that this uh, man is, um, they caught him uh, over a speed limit and one of the, on the road side, there's areas in Copenhagen where you could go on a road. And apparently that's what had occurred was he was um, apparently drunk. And now here he is, or apparently speeding, and they're also presuming that there's there's some um, 
stuff involved. So now he's going across the roads again and coming back here. And now he's, um, uh, where is he? Is he going to go on one of those little side paths again? It looks like he's probably going back on the little side path. Notice how the police, um, just basically haven't gotten involved. Um, they, they, the many work state police advises these communities. We're told that CPD has, um, their offer crew has, um, been intervening and they can only go so fast if it's this vehicle, it's this snowmobile is going at a high rate of, a very high rate of speed. I think this is, he's going at least maybe 60, 70 miles an hour. The, the, um, tricycles can only go, I think, up to... I, I and they're offered at least 55 to 60 so um we don't know why it's why he's going so fast it's just um unusual uh, very unusual here we go we lost the picture again and now we're back uh here we go um the the snowmobile has like nine lives here and let's see here come on let's see what's going on here um Apparently, he is wanted for shoplifting. Um, that's according to another traffic on the scanner. And here he goes again. He's on the ice. He's on the ice. Come on. And now he's on the road. Back on the ice. Trying to turn around. 10 4. <laughs> Beep. 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 Oh, wow. Beep. His engine blew up. His engine blew up. And now now look at that. The engine just popped out and now the the chase is ended in pieces. The chase is ended in pieces. Wow, I can't believe that. I can wow wow wow. Look at that. Wow. Um, so now the chase is, uh, ended, <laughs> and I see, see that's at least a hundred, I'd say about 200 feet away from, uh, where the, uh, where the, the guy had ended up, and it's funny how he could just keep, keep on going like that without an engine, it's just, uh, rather interesting, that may be about a hundred feet, I, uh, forgive me on, on this information here and i'm told the police is within distance so they're gonna come and uh respond and um and there they are right there all right so we'll have more information on this on bcop 6 News at 5 we'll have the highlights of this unbelievable snowmobile police pursuit and um the the um the footage and the uh the the rundown of this um in, uh, very interesting chase. I'm Lindsay Beep. Rodriguez. This is BCOP Six News. We'll um, be back at five. Beep. Ten four. Beep.